Hi everyone, I'm Anita and I am a parent and an educator. I've been in education for over 20 years. Today I want to share with you a little tip that I have started doing with my son that's helped me juggle these couple of hats, like full-time teleworking while doing the virtual homeschool thing. And so a couple weeks ago, I was starting to pull my hair out because my son would come running in from the other room, calling mommy and wanting or needing something. I'm sure we've all been there, whether we're teleworking or not. And unfortunately, a lot of the times I was busy with something, either in the middle of reading or in the middle of a meeting. And it was starting to really bother me that he was like not even in the same room calling for me. So I started a new activity with him that I first sat down with him. And I had a little conversation about what needs and wants are and how during the day a need is he's bleeding or, you know, something's like on fire. And then he said, well, I need food. And I had a conversation with him about needing food and wanting it when he wants it. And so we wrote down that sometimes he says he needs help with food. So we wrote that down, that that's something he sometimes needs help with. And then another thing he came up with was, well, sometimes he just misses me and wants a hug or kiss. So we wrote that down on a little card. And then the other thing he says is, well, mommy, I want breaks with you. You have to take breaks too, just like the teacher tells me of moving your body and stretching. And I thought it was pretty interesting. And so I wrote that down too. Some time for a break with mommy. Sometimes it's five minutes, sometimes it's 10. And then he was talking about other things he might need help with, like his computer or can't find paper. So we made a fourth card that's called help or a question with something. And let me tell you that these four cards have significantly changed our routine around here. From what started out where he was yelling and calling me out from the other room and then standing in front of me, even if I was talking to somebody on my work computer, to now he comes over quietly pulls out one of these little cards and sets it down right in front of me without anybody seeing his hand. And so I'm able to go kind of without people seeing it on the side, giving him a thumbs up or a hold on a minute finger. And it has changed significantly. Now the fact is he still uses them a lot, but wow, progress with just a quick, simple activity. And all I did was cut up some straws use some clear tape to give them some durability. Now, if your child's not reading yet, you can do it with pictures. Just put like a kissy face on the one where he wants to kiss with his mommy, or just put like a stretching or a yoga mat picture for the like exercise break one, or a picture of food for the food one. So I hope this was a helpful, quick little tip and idea for you. And if you would like some more ideas and tips, please don't hesitate to reach out at kidsmoveandlearn.com. We look forward to sharing a bunch of other new strategies with you.